Hello everybody. Um, I'm just going to give you a tutorial on how to use one of our softwares that we've developed uh, recently for the um, uh, for the public. Now, if you have an issue with your internet and your internet keeps cutting off, um, uh, it's very slow uh, or anything like that, well, we have developed a software that will actually fix this issue. Um, the software we actually um, put is all the way at the bottom here. So if you scroll down to courtesy, you'll hear have the instructions here. But I'll just give you a quick demo on how to use it. So just click on that, save it, open the folder, and then what you want to do, you want to cut it or copy it one you want and navigate to your uh, C drive make sure that this is in the C drive so just paste it here okay so once you paste it here uh, you want to extract it so once you actually unzip it in C drive you'll have that folder location so you make sure you have that folder location C drive online double click on that and uh, you'll see that icon here. It could be red, it could be yellow or green. Depends on the uh, status of the uh, of your connection, right? So now the settings are not the correct one for the modem, so that's why it's actually showing red. So you'll have two LEDs here, online LED and network LED and out of stock. So online LED will indicate the status of your network browsing. So if you're able to browse the web, it will be green. If you're unable to browse the web, then it will be red. Network LED will indicate the status of your modem. So if the modem is in proper condition, functional condition, then it will be green. If there's some issues with the modem and uh, it's not, you know, like, like your internet would be slow, but you will still have the able, uh, capability to actually browse the web, it will be yellow. So the, the, the modem is semi-functional state. And if it's red, that means the modem is in a non-functioning state. So once the modem goes red, uh, inevitably your um, online will definitely go red too because now you won't be able to go on the web anymore, right? So click on the settings to get it started. Um, sorry, that I was actually doing some testing here. So make sure this is selected. Um, your IP address and username and password. Now I'll tell you what it is. IP address is the IP address of your modem. So um, this is the IP address that once you paste it in your browser, you'll enter into your modem. So it could be 192.2.1 or um, 1.1. It could be 0 0.1. Uh, it could be 1.2 or 1.0 So whatever the IP address is for your modem you must enter that here So let's say by default um, Your IP address is this one So if you're prompted with a username and password when you're trying to make some changes Then this is where you enter the username and password So this software must have the same ability to control your modem that you're able to do it yourself so one default some of them they come with admin admin or admin and they use the password is nothing it just depends on your modem so let's say you have the correct ip address correct username and password now you want to make sure that the software is functioning properly now in order to make sure that the software functions properly you want to select the default one at first and then click on test Click a couple of times, once, twice, third time, you'll see this black thing flashing every time you click on it. So once that's actually happening is uh, it's sending commands to your um, modem. So it's trying to clear the catch and then if it has to then it will actually restart. The test will definitely restart. So once you press on test, go and physically check on the modem. If the modem is restarting, that means you're in great luck, everything works properly, the, the software is fully set up. If it did not restart, well, then you're out of, you know, you're, you're, 
you need to do a bit more things. Select uh, default two and run the test again. Test one, just run a couple of times. So this should definitely work. So default one or default two should definitely uh, get your modem restarting once everything else is inserted properly. Uh, check it again physically and make sure it's restarting. If it's not restarting, then uh, if you have the modem, Smart RG, this was actually developed uh, uh, using the uh, and developed and testing uh, for the uh, Smart RG and a couple other modems. Um, so if you have Smart RG, then just select that and um, make sure you have the correct IP, username, and password, and and this will just work fine. But let's just say um, none of these actually are the case for you, so your modem did not restart. You want to deselect selection of the modem, and here you want to script it. So default one is restart uh, script, and default two is re uh, sorry reboot script. So if these did not work, then I would recommend to try reset. So type reset and then try it again. And then look at the modem, see if the modem restarted. If it did not restart, I'll try maybe restart or uh, R boot and check it to see if it works or not. Let's just say one of these work. And if it did not work, actually, just Google it. You put your um, Telnet modem restart modem number uh, and uh, see if it's you know if popping popping out any command lines how to restart through Telnet and the, and the command would be this one like you this is where you enter the command line now if you can find it on Google either I would recommend you to contact the manufacturer of your particular modem and they'll be able to tell you what the script command is that, that you can enter to restart the modem remotely. This is the remote restart um, script code. So let's say you've had that working, and uh, now what you want to do, you want to actually make it auto start. If you want the software to start automatically once the software has been um, started, launched. So once it's uh, launched, it will automatically load the settings and start monitoring the modem status and internet status. Now, if you want it to actually automatically control everything on the Windows startup, so what you want to do, go to the C drive online folder and um, right click on the online software, go to uh, send to desktop, create shortcut. Once you do that, cut that and paste it at your startup folder. This is where you want to paste it, like so. Once you paste it here, then every time you restart your computer, it will run, launch the software, software will turn on, auto start will be detected, it will start monitoring and making accordingly changes to your modem if it's needed to get you running the web. Now, if you're running Windows 8, there's a little uh, tricky with finding the uh, startup folder, it's no longer located at the uh, start menu. So what you want to do, you want to come copy this, paste it there, or uh, if you know if you know the username of your uh, system, if you don't, then just copy that, paste it there, and then you'll be in the startup folder. So then you can actually copy and paste the uh, shortcut. Okay. Well, that that's basically it for the tutorial on running this software. Hopefully this was a great help to everybody else. Um, we've had lots of uh, good comments uh, about the software, helpful many people. Hopefully it helps you too to get uh, stable internet going. All right. Happy browsing and visit us at latechef.com. Thank you. Bye bye.